Hello everyone, UK here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the bucket mechanic in Sea of Thieves. I'll be breaking this down into stages and even teaching you how to super bucket, so you might want to stick around for that. If you're new to the channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. Now let's take a look at the bucket. To start the video, we need to look at the animation when using the bucket. This animation is split into two parts. The first part of the animation is scooping the water and the second part is throwing the water. Using a series of axe cancels or B cancels on a controller, we can cut a lot of the animation time out of bucketing. So let's start with the first part of the animation, scooping water. When we apply the axe cancel, you'll see that we can skip the majority of the scoop animation. In order to do this, the button combination on PC is left click axe axe, or in controller it is right trigger B B. Maximizing axe cancel on the scoop is a matter of how fast you can press these series of buttons. Here is the difference between the full animation and the axe cancellation of the scoop. Now on to the second animation, the throw. As you can see, the animation consists of the character model moving the bucket in a forward motion. The arm is fully extended, then the water leaves the bucket. Again, just like the scoop, we can apply the axe cancel to this part of the animation. The throw part of bucketing is slightly harder to do than the scoop as you must get the timing right in order to axe cancel correctly. If I axe cancel too fast, you'll see that no water leaves the bucket at all. To do this correctly, you need to focus and learn the correct point in which the water leaves the bucket, thus making it the best time to cancel the animation. Slowing the animation down, you can see the player model's arm extending, throwing the water. When the arm is fully extended, this is the correct time to axe cancel. The button combination is left click followed by a small delay throwing the water, then axe axe. On controller, this will be right trigger, a small delay, and then BB. Here is a comparison axe cancelling on the throw and the full animation. Now that I have shown you the axe cancel on the scoop and the throw, we can now combine these together with a series of button combinations to create what I have been calling the super bucket. The super bucket consists of seven button combinations, but before I show you the combination, here is the super bucket in action. As you can see, I have removed most of the animation of using a bucket. Learning the super bucket will allow you to effectively stop a ship from sinking that has taken 100% damage to the hull of a sloop or a brig. I'll be showing this later in the video. The button combination for the super bucket is left click, axe, axe, left click, followed by a delay. To repeat this, you must then start the next sequence with an axe cancel, which for some people can be quite tricky, so I have made my own combination to make this a little bit more user friendly. My own combination is left click, axe, axe, left click, axe, axe, left click, followed by a delay. The delay I am referring to is on the throw, as timing is required. This combination helps to form a pattern or rhythm which is easier to follow and perform every time. My series of combinations can be spammed as fast as you can for the exact same outcome as the technically correct combination. I'd like to also say that there has been no macro used here at all. This is the speed in which I am able to perform the super bucket. This is something that will need practice in order for you to perform every time in many situations including adrenaline filled ones. I recommend taking time to learn this standing on a beach and super bucketing from the shoreline. As you can see, this is how effective the super bucket can be on a sloop. Here I am able to solo bucket a scuttling sloop to auto sync. With enough practice, this will become easy as in my opinion it is quite a simple combination. Being able to super bucket to the speed I can is the main focus of learning. I'd like to finish off with saying while axe cancels have been in the game for a long time, they are still considered exploits and will eventually be patched within a future game update. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the channel further, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Until the next one, thanks for watching.